Wildman Watson and Hales Corner Speedway both no longer with us, but as I found out this week, both are coming together to heal and remember. If you listen close, you can still hear it. This Menards wants the site of Hales Corner Speedway. And the tree behind us, we've drank a lot of beer behind that over the years, and you know, Jim telling a lot of stories, and you know, just all the drivers in general telling stories of, of the races and the camaraderie between the drivers. Well, I spent my entire life here, from the time I could walk to the time I the track closed down. I raced here, I watched races here. Mm. I just always loved this place. Um, I had this tree in the background. We all gathered after the races to have a beer or two. And we ran second uh, with Rich Vogler driving. Uh, Poncho Carter beat us in a USAC midget race. Mm. I think it was July of 77. Fitting that this site has a banner for the Jim Wildman Watson Classic this Saturday at Wilmot Speedway. We contacted the Menard store here at the, the location of the old Hales Corners racetrack and uh, they allowed us to put the banners up on Highway 100 there to, to advertise the race in his honor and you know to help bring all the fans. Wilmot is probably the, the closest track to Hales Corners and I think it's a, it's a great place to have this event in memory of Mr. Watson and uh, I hope a lot of these folks come down here and give Wilmot a shot. And Jim spent most Saturday nights racing at Hales Corners before working in NASCAR and sadly passing away of a heart attack nearly a year ago. He gave everything he had every time he was out on that track and I think it was a good life lesson for everybody. Truly missed, but what a great event this weekend on Saturday. The